Who would have guessed? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guessed? I could wake up to this in the morning. Welcome to another reaction video. This time we are on to CJ the the Champ. I don't know why I'm messing up that name for it. So easy, CJ the Champ. We are on another video by him. This time it's involving Majin Buu, calling him the ultimate menace. But before we get into the video, I hope you are subscribed. I hope you hit the notification bell. We are almost at four hundred four zero zero. We are almost there, knocking at the door of it. Right now, at this point, we are doing a giveaway at 400 subscribers. So join the club. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have the notification bell on. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, which is the link is in the description. And we're about to just jump into this real quick, real fast. And we're about to go ahead and start it now. Let's see here. It's the Majin Buu. Let's see what you got. Oh, she walks up to this man in the and world? slaps him in the face. What? So then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal oh. egg. Then he said, I like my scrap. I remember. Are you serious? Did he do that for real? I don't remember that. CJ the champ. So you're feeling the content right quick. Menaces. Truly terrifying creatures. The rarest breed of the anime character in today's society. Okay. Their ignorance, disrespect, and disregard for <laughs> disrespect human life is just unmatched. That is why we made a round table for these rare breeds of menaces. And the person leading that charge is a little peek at this absolute, oh, menace, oh. absolute demon, the ultimate black air force, Majin Buu. This thing is the ultimate personification of a hood. Like this ain't even like a black air force. <laughs> this is a black Tim, a Fila, a Shaq, a damn Fubu. This little nigga is just absolutely terrifying. There's a reason he's at the front. At the front. Uh, Y'all already know your boy got the evidence on deck. Got the evidence on deck. Observe the ultimate menace. So, without further ado, Exhibit A. <clears throat> Exhibit yep. A. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, as we know, Majin Buu has multiple variants. He has multiple, yep, yeah, multiple each forms. One, he gets even worse, worse to just outright what the f. So, I know, right? We have to start from the beginning. So, I present to you Exhibit A Fat Buu. Fat so, Buu. as we know, Goku and Vegeta are fighting right now, and that's giving all the energy for Buu to wake up. So I know, right? I remember that. And everybody sees them. Everybody's looking like you telling me this fat ass Captain D's Patrick Star Kirby looking motherfucker is a terror <laughs> of the universe? <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? Like, look at him. He's waddling. A... So, Deboer is looking at Bobby like, really, my boy? You was really hyping all this up? <laughs> what a pity. So then Boo looks over at him and he's like, boy, I know you ain't talking shit with that receding ass hairline. Like, goddamn, your shit look worse than Vegeta's. So then Boo it's just like Vegeta's. Steaming, and then he smiles at him and he swings and gouges out his eyes. He like nah 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 boo boo shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> yeah, he did do that. This man just laid out the demon king with a kick. Look at Gohan. He like ain't no way, boy. I just had a whole three episode fight with this man, and he just kicked him like a rag doll. Ah hell no. I know right. I a three Why episode fight. Yeah. Putin already caught up. He like oh where y'all think y'all going? The fun just getting started. Look at Supreme Kai. He like god. oh my god. I'm about to die. Man straight up clapped his face. <laughs> he just started beating the brakes off his ass. Then this man comes from the top rope like the big show and sits on and his sits ass. on his ass. His ribs, his organs, his spine. Oh, that man is done. So then yeah. Gohan comes in and tries to stop him, but who said, get your bum ass out my sight. Home run. This motherfucker. <laughs> I sent my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie and he straight up devours this in one 
bite. In one bite. Nah, bro. This man literally just turned the Demon King into a damn gingerbread man and devoured him in one In one bite. bite. So then Vegeta pulls up, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's Vegeta. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Vegeta's my favorite character, and I already knew he was gonna get his ass beat. So he raps. Yeah, him same thing him. with me. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity doo da. I'm about to whoop that ass. Yippee! Here we go. <laughs> 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 Straight up booty man. Then he comes from the top rope again. And oh, oh my god. God damn. Look, I'm like with him. That Vegeta, my man, boy. But damn. We already knew he was going to get his ass whipped. We already knew this, but I mean, come on, man. Like, cut my man some slack. I and that done, bro. GG. So Vegeta's like, well, then, if I can't beat him, might as well just blow myself up then. Drunks, love you, kid, but to be honest with you, you were an accident. That, he had to do it like that. And that man Vegeta just straight up blew himself up. And he took Boo with him. <laughs> or so we thought. Or so we this thought. He rebuilt himself and he is still kicking, bro. So after this, Boo just goes on a complete rampage. They went to this one city, so he's like, all right, everybody bring that ass up. So then he's like, all right, what I want to eat? Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started inhaling them like Kirby. And this man just really just chomped up down everything like Pac-Man. Seconds. Then he decided to spit it out, and bro just laid out the entire city. Then he went to the next one, lifted them up, and turned every single one of them into a chocolate bar. So after this, Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3 after, you know, like screaming his ass off for like the entirety of the damn episode. I know, he right? Like he was taking the fattest doodle of his life. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie to him. Goku was beating the brace off his ass, though. Man grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. He said antenna. Boing, 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 boing. Bro looks like he is doing this with no effort. He he was, look, he like he was hitting, he like he doing it like a little punching ball. You know how that big punching ball they had like um, the rubber band stuff? To it, you got bing, bing, bing. That's that guy you doing it. Use him into an entire building, bro. Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people of Earth, but apparently not. Bro, apparently not. A bunch of innocent people and chucked him into a whole building with probably. Nah, he was pissed off, it. Goku. Then he like, man, f them. We'll wish him back with the Dragon Balls. So then Goku powers down and he's like, all right, listen, my boy, I'm about to run out of time. So I got a proposition for you. Wait two days and there's going to be a warrior that's going to want to box you. And also stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like for real, my boy, you show off him. So after Goku dips, who's like, man, you know what? He was right. So he grabs oh, him shit. and punches his head off. Then bro chucked him and blew him to smithereens. Just like that. Like, ah, yes. <laughs> Boo free man. Hip hip hooray. No more bum ass chameleon. <laughs> so later on, he's flying around and then he's like, Ugh. Boo getting tired, man. So he stops in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So Boo turns around and he says, Mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck like, what? hell no, nah, nigga, you get no bitches. Now get the fuck out the road. Then he looks at him. He's like, sit your stupid ass up. <laughs> Truck who ain't got shit on me. So then he says, you know what? This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody up, turns them into Play-Doh, and builds a literal house out of them. Man, is dead ass on creative mode at this point. So after this, yeah. Boo continues his rampage. So he sees these boats and he's like, hmm, Boo play with boats. So this man starts skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So homie right here is drowning. So then he grabs on the Boo. And Boo's looking at him like, Niggas, why the hell you grab ass off me? The dog sent him to the moon. So then Gotenks pulls up, and you already know this man talking shit. And it's like, you fat it's... Captain D's Big Mac number one combo, bitch ass. Oh, don't think I'm done. Oh, Pillsbury, dope boy looking ass. Oh, 2012, these can't hold me back. Rick Ross looking. You know what? If. Go Tanks was, was black. I'm pretty sure he would have pulled up and just said said some all that stuff he just said. Cause I swear to you, he talked so freaking much in the damn episodes. I'm telling you, he is like him, and it's like another character too.
I forgot which one it was, but they do a lot, a lot of talking. Instead of getting the job done, they do too much talking. And I'm like, man, give them that work. Give them that work. Give them that work. No, they have to talk. Oh, yeah, I'm strong. I'm this. I'm that. I'm like, bro, you, you don't stop all that freaking talking and just give them that work. Yo, for real. I'm pretty sure he's going to expose that on this video. I'm pretty sure. But but y'all already know Boo was not having that disrespect. So we just started beating the brakes off his little ass. And he's like, stop playing with me. <laughs> then he picks my piece like, oh yeah. He was talking about that good a second ago. And now look at you. Beat the fuck up. Man, send hey. that boy to the shadow room. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls up. No. They actually become friends. So they outside playing with this dog. And this hunter ends up shooting the dog. So Boo's like, oh my god, what, what, what is this really? debauchery? I, I, am I feeling some type of sympathy right now? Absurd. So after this, Boo starts steaming again, and then he shoots out this cloud, and in that cloud is another Boo, but he's skinny and he's gray. Then he walks up to him and he's like, hey nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that bitch. So he oh. starts punishing this man, beating the absolute brakes off of him. So Boo shoots his beam at him, but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And bro just ate him. And then he starts to transform. So yeah, that was exhibit A and it's time to move on to exhibit, exhibit B. B. You in position yet? What's taking so long? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I now present Exhibit, you B. Exhibit B. Super Super Boo. So as we can see, it gets Boo worse. It gets Super worse as time and go by. This is where it just started to get outlandish. So the first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. Oh. No life for real. Like this is like <laughs> actually disgusting. I'm not showing this shit. But anyway, so he ends up blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, all right, listen up. I was promised a fight two days ago that there's going to be some strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop, chop. Don't be shy. So Piccolo <laughs> ends up making a grave mistake. So Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, there's plenty of other people on Earth that you can kill for your amusement while you wait. So Boo's like, all right, bet. So he starts walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. Yep. So after he's yeah, done, I think he did do it. He lifts up his hand and uses human extinction attack. And he straight up deletes the entire human population. So after he's done, he's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy. Just give us one hour. That's all we need. And bro's like, an hour? Hell no. So then Fidel starts talking. She's like, it's just an hour. I hope you're not scared or you're a chicken. Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell soccer Gohan cut you got going on right I now. I know, right? In fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out, bro. And just wait the hour. So about five minutes later, five while minutes Boo's later. waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things. Oh, I yeah, yeah, seen. yeah. She walks up to this man and, and slaps, slaps him, him in the face. So then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. Then he said, I like my scramble, bitch. That is so, so wrong. He literally turned her into an egg and stomped her like a roach in front of her son. Oh my God. So about I know, half right? the time passes now and Boo's like, you know what? I'm done with this ah. weight. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30 minutes. I was like, I, 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 I'm done with this. Sh if I don't get this fade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo <laughs> takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh my God. Like gold tank. So he's back there and he's like, really? These little goofy ass niggas? All right, bet then. So they start to do the fusion dance, but Boo blitz his trunks and socks. <laughs> Damn. So Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. How you gonna attack a that's Transformer, bro? That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally fuse, Boo's like, oh, it's you. I already ran your fade once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. So yeah, bro, Boo was just bullying him again. Bro straight up mm -mm -mm. jumped through Manson and sent him all the way back to the floor. 
Wow. After this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. So he's like, haha, now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way, bro. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I'm stuck in here, I ain't getting no more candy. Oh, now this just won't do. So this man literally screamed a hole and teared open the dimension. So Bruh just straight up slithered away. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, Chocolate? Chocolate! Chocolate! Oh my god. Chocolate! Chocolate! <laughs> this man just turned the entire cast into chocolate. Bro, straight up devoured their souls. So later on, when he's fighting <sighs> Gotenks again, they end up unfusing. So oh Bro my just god. fell asleep. Bro, say it ain't even worth it at this point. So then ultimate gohan pulls up and, and this man wanted all the smoke but straight up okay. stared homie down and said i'm killing you and he started laying the hands on them bro was looking like he was fighting cell again but of course it didn't last long no it didn't last long absorbed go tanks and piccolo and gohan literally sat there and watched him do it so then after this it was raps bro he was beating the brakes off of gohan so then tn shows up <laughs> I know, I, right. take this seriously. <laughs> I know right. Take this seriously. I know right. Bro, get your ass out of here. And then bro just ended up absorbing Gohan too. So then he ends up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn ragdolls. So then they have to resort to using Vegito. Man oh man. Oh yes. This was an undeniable Vegito. ass whooping. Vegito was smacking. I know right. Up. Like this wasn't even funny. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, he starts to transform again. And dear God, it's time for Exhibit C. Exhibit so, C. Without further ado, Exhibit C. Oh boy. The new best way to make money online that nobody's talking about is something you've never heard of before. It's you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Exhibit we C. We have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy. May God help us all. I know, Exhibit right? Exhibit C consists of Kid Boo. So as we can see, the Boo worst is transforming one. right now from this really big buff form. And Supreme Kai is losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate Black Air Force. No, 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 let me not even say that. The ultimate menace. Kid Boo. So Vegeta's like, <laughs> look, Kakarot, the little got smaller and they hella confident right now so while this is happening so man Kai they don't need to be confident over right there bro was like yo this is the dude that killed all of the kai's west kai gone north kai gone Ooh. south kai gone oh. up grand supreme kai dead you want to know why i became supreme kai because everybody else is dead so stop acting like this sweet so boo starts admiring the scenery so bro's like, hmm, time to assert my dominance. <laughs> Bruh, come on, man. Oh, shit. Then right after he's done, he shoots a key blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting. And Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then yeah. Vegeta's like, hey, yo, try that shit again, nigga. I wish you would. So Boo turns around and looks at him. He's like, uh oh. I then so he starts he gonna try up a ginormous one so goku's like yo chill but boo just smiles bro said bye bye this man really just showed up blew up the planet for no reason at all and didn't even say a word didn't even no, say a word always be saying hmm, i'm gonna destroy earth he was like the quietest the quietest form there was it was kid Bo kid boo Cell, i'm gonna blow up the earth and there's nothing you can do Fail. boo bro didn't even say a word he just nope. did it i mean he we should have known it. he was about that life when the first episode he shows up in is called the end of earth so after this, this man rebuilds himself almost immediately, learns instant transmission, then starts going from planet to planet, blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. So then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he submitted himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes off a of dead 
I beg your pardon? He went to go get more smoke <laughs> from the dead ops. Look at Krillin and Yamcha. They like, oh my God, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boo said, f*** that rest in peace shit. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man started oh to my God. Off of everybody. Yeah, like, he God, did do that. Krillin with a three-piece combo then started suplexing him with his antenna. So now this man is ready to wipe everybody from existence. But then he senses Goku and Vegeta again. And he's like, oh, time to go. Like, bro, imagine you are in heaven resting for eternal peace and you see your op come trying to get some more smoke. Like, bruh, that, that's just I know, right? So he pulls up to the Kai world and he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> my fade. So he starts fighting Goku. And while he's fighting this man, this man starts emoting, laughing and dancing while he's pummeling this man. <laughs> Look, bro, can't even form words, but he's still talking shit. <laughs> I know, right? You. you Bitch, nigga. But ladies and gentlemen, he had to what say it we like really that. have to get to though is the absolute violation, absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Oh my god. God, he was pummeling this man. Bro saying, hmm. He gave, like him, he gave him he gave him that work. I'm sorry. It already is. So Vegeta just ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up getting back up, so Boo's like, hmm. So you wanna be a black air force, huh? I right, then consider this initiation so bra ends up indenting his foot in his spine then the nigga said go no 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 and started oh my god the life out of man's bro oh my god and that was all she wrote for vegeta he he was done he was and done mr satan wanted some smoke but come <laughs> on bro my toes my organs my feet <laughs> so then fat boo pulls up so Kid Boo like, hmm, ooga, ooga, ooga. If it isn't the big ass mm. bubble gum shrimp looking motherfucker. Oh my god, yo, I can't be here. Bro is welling on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. Oh my and god. Bro decided to take a whole time out on him. Then he grabs him and starts <laughs> hey, gut checking him. Bro said, I'm about to make you lose your breakfast, Damn. lunch, and your dinner. And your dinner. Fat Boo was done too. So the way they had to beat this man is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, the whole damn earth, to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this damn menace. The damn spirit bomb. He started to push it back, but the plot kicked in and the ultimate menace was slain. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why little homie sits in the front. Like some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire cast, blew up the earth blew on up the first earth episode, on the first he episode up, he showed up. his ops in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. That's yeah, just that's crazy. That's basically it. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to follow your boy on IG and Twitter. I'll have the poll up for the next video the day after this is uploaded. And uh, I'm out of here. But yeah, um, yeah, he basically summed all that up with with Majin Buu, straight up. Like, wow, like half the stuff that he did, I remember it, but I didn't remember it. But good God, boy, he was giving Vegeta that work. He gave everybody the work, really. All that that I was telling, that I was just basically was talking about, gave him the whole, gave him all the cheese, the meat. The veggies, all that, the whole works, gave him everything. Like, how you go in heaven and then you sit up there and you still see all the people you just whipped up on in heaven and just be like, yeah, I want round two. Like, God, boy, that how in the world that happens. But either way, it's about that time and. Hopefully you have that subscribe button lit. Hopefully you have the notification bell on. Um, stay tuned for more videos as always. And we're at 400. Getting to 400. Probably like, what's that? Six away? Six away from 400 from this video. So, yes. Get up to 400. Then we can actually do a giveaway. I will make an announcement once we hit it. And then, you know, we'll go on from there about who could, you know, who can get the, you know, get the winning, um, get the winning giveaway. So right now at this point, maybe gift cards, maybe right now at this point, but yes, I am giving away something at 400.
It's your boy, boy Bob signing off. And thank you. And make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you check out my gaming channel. Link is in the description. I will be having more videos for that coming up. And stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. Have a nice day. Have a nice afternoon. And good evening. Who would have guessed? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guessed? I could wake up to this in the morning. Wish I ball, my phone just go ball. Like my wrist at all. Wish I ball, my phone just go ball. Like my wrist at all. You know I came in and floss and I'm actually awesome. I can't let them get in my way. This brand is full like the Apri and Meyer. The sauces, I need to go get them a praise. You know I'm straight up to 10. Spending like.